YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, the fourth Ken, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about prices, what you can do to raise your prices, how you should go about raising your prices, things that can allow you to charge more. What should you do when you raise your prices? I recommend sending out like a marketing campaign. Personally, I use Wix.com. That's a very good website service. I do all my appointments through Wix. I don't use another booking app or anything. It has great customization aspects for the appointments. You can block off a certain day. Like if you're going on vacation, you can block it off. It has built-in email marketing. And so for my prices, that's what I did. It automatically sent it to everyone that ever booked a haircut with me on that platform. You wanna make it very professional. It notified them of the price change and also the new services that are available. Before this, I was charging $50. A couple months ago, I was charging $35. So you guys can really see the growth of when I got my studio. So how can you charge more as a barber? Branding, that's all it comes down to is branding. Brand yourself, brand your shop, brand your studio. What is branding? Branding is your content that you're making. The image that you're putting out on the internet. That's branding. That's how you can charge premium prices. When you get a cup of coffee at the, your local corner store, it's not as much as it's gonna be at Starbucks because the power of branding. Make it something that people will want. There may be a kid in Mexico that can give out the same quality type of haircut that I'm giving. Because of my location, because of my branding, I'm able to charge more. Now, am I better than him? No. But the power of branding. No haircut is worth $60. No haircut is worth $100. None. No haircut is worth above $50, let's be real. You're paying for either the convenience, the brand, the skill. Currently, I am charging $60 for a haircut. For those of you who've been asking how much do you charge, I just recently went up to $60 for a haircut. The reason why I'm telling you my prices, this is for inspiration because I want you guys to know where I'm cutting it. I'm cutting in the hood. I'm cutting in the worst neighborhood in Philadelphia. I'm cutting in North Philly. For those of you who come to me for haircuts, you guys know the area that I'm cutting in is rough. So I want you guys to get rid of that stigma that location matters. It does not matter. Your space does matter. Whether you're at a shop, studio, has to be clean, has to be welcoming, that matters. But the actual where it's at, it doesn't matter. As long as it's safe, secured. So this is proof that you can charge whatever, wherever you are. So right now I'm at $60 for a haircut, $85 for a haircut plus facial. Am I worried about making every single haircut perfect? No. Yes, you want to focus on increasing your quality when you raise prices, but the key is to increase your branding. That's the main factor I want you guys to take away from this video. My clientele is starting to change because I'm raising my prices. When you raise your prices, your clientele shifts. So you'll go from cutting young guys, young, immature guys in your neighborhood to now cutting businessmen corporate dudes. It's easier to have business relationships because that's what it is. When you're giving someone a haircut, you're building your business relationship. That's why you want to talk to your clients. You know, if you're cutting clients that are involved in stuff, you're not really going to benefit from that. You want to be cutting clients that are going to put you into opportunities and just people that you can gain information from, good people that you want to talk to. You don't want to get caught up in feeling like, oh, this haircut isn't worth $60. You're forgetting that the client is not only paying you for the haircut, it's also your time. The amount of time you're spending on the haircut, you're getting paid for that as well. You're also getting paid for the experience. Sometimes just a haircut is an experience. Coming into a private space, even a shop. If you're cutting in a shop, you can charge $60. The median haircut price is probably around $40 or $45. So I'm above that now, I'm like 60. And you're gonna stand out. Oh, he charges a lot. What's the hype about? Let me go check him out real quick. Be consistent. Consistency will make you great. And that's just a fact. Being consistently good at something will make you great. So my point in saying all that is, you don't wanna get stuck in this mindset, oh, I have to offer more to charge more. It's really not about that. It's about how well you run your business, how professional you are. Price point is important because this is how barbers feed their family. This is how we eat. Some barbers, it may not be your full income, but it's at least some takeaway money. Don't make it a point to focus on the money, but once you get the experience and you feel like you're ready, I say raise them. I'm all for it. There's many different lanes to success. You have the celebrity barber lane, the education lane, the strictly just cutting your clients lane, the creating content, the YouTuber, the Instagrammer, the TikToker. It's different avenues of success. What's your version of success? My version of success is time and money, mainly time. The more free time you have, that's money. Time is money. Time is 10 times valuable than money. That's my version of success. 
Drop down in the comments how much you guys charge for a haircut and let me know. The popular prices nowadays is like 40, 50, or maybe you're even still charging 35 or 20. That's okay. I just wanna get a clear consensus of my audience. But yeah, it's the fourth can. Turn the bells on. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's the fourth can, and I'm out. Peace.